हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द वीडियो माय सेल्फ यश कुमार सेकेंड ईयर एम स्टूडेंट एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू द इंडिकेटर्स ऑफ ऑब्विलेशन इट इज़ अ इम्पॉर्टेंट यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जामिनेशन टॉपिक एंड फॉर सी बी एम ई बैच दिस कैन आइडर बी आज फॉर फोर मार्क्स और फॉर द एट मार्क्स सो लेट स्टार्ट सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द इंडिकेटर्स ऑफ ऑवलेशन आई वॉन्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू नो दैट वट इज ऑवलेशन एक्चुअली सो एवोलेशन इज डिफाइंड एज द प्रोसेस ऑफ रिलीज ऑफ ओवम और ऊसाइट from the ovary by the rupturing of the graphene follicle due to the LH surge very important point to remember ovulation occur due to LH surge now let's start the indicators of ovulation so here is the list of all the indicators of ovulation so let's start rise in the basal body temperature spin bucket mittel smirch fern test spotting and hormone estimation and i'm going to teach all this in detail in the upcoming slide so the first indicator is rise in basal body temperature following the ovulation there is increase in 0.5 to 1 degree rise in the basal body temperature it is because when ovulation takes place the graphene follicle is going to convert it into corpus luteum and this corpus luteum will secrete progesterone and progesterone has a thermogenic effect so the rise in basal body temperature is because of the thermogenic effect of the progesterone so this graph represents the variation of basal body temperature during the menstrual cycle here the x axis represents the number of days of menstrual cycle and y axis represents the basal body temperature so we can see in the graph that from second day to the 13th day there is only a slight or minor variation in the basal body temperature but on the 14th day there is marked elevation of the basal body temperature it is because of the increased secretion of the progesterone which has a thermogenic effect second indicator is the spin bucket spin bucket is based on a physiological phenomena and that physiological phenomena is that estrogen makes the cervical mucus thin and alkaline that is during the prolificative phase when the estrogen is high the cervical mucus will be thin and alkaline and during the secretory phase that is when the progesterone is high the mucus will be thick and tenacious so the spin bucket what is actually spin bucket so spin bucket is defined as that at the time of ovulation a single drop of cervical mucus can be stretched to as long like a thread up to 10 cm and decreased elasticity indicate that ovulation has already been taken place so this figure represents the spin bucket phenomena we can able to see the two figures in the first figure the cervical mucus is very thick and the elasticity is very less but in the second figure the cervical mucus is very thin whereas the elasticity is much more so we can conclude that in the first figure the ovulation has already been taken place and the cervical mucus is thick because of high amount of progesterone and in the second figure the cervical mucus is thin and the elasticity is more so we can conclude that ovulation is going to take place soon or is taking place next indicator is the mittel smirch mittel smirch is also called as a ovulation pain and it is defined as fleeting lower abdominal pain but why there is a pain following the ovulation it is because when the ovulation occur the bleeding occurs into the antrum of the follicle so the small amount of blood escapes into the abdominal cavity and this blood causes the irritation and that will lead to the production of pain that is called as a fleeting pain so the next indicator is the fun test it is a very important indicator of the ovulation so listen this very carefully it is based on the phenomena that before ovulation 
before ovulation that is during the prolificative phase when the estrogen is high the cervical mucus form a arborizing fern like pattern when it is spread on the slide and that process is called as arborization and following the ovulation that is during the secretory phase the mucus become thick because of the high amount of the progesterone and fern like pattern is not observed so ovulation is indicated by absence of ferning very important thing ovulation is indicated by the absence of ferning this figure represents the microscopic view of the fern pattern of the cervical mucus when it is spread on the slide so we can able to see fern like pattern next indicator is spotting so spotting is defined as a transitory vaginal discharge it is a transitory vaginal discharge and there is a term called as a ovulation cascade ovulation cascade is actually a triad of a three indicators that is rise in basal body temperature mittel smirch and spotting and if all these three are present that is if ovulation cascade is present this ensures the occurrence of ovulation Another indication of the ovulation is hormone estimation. We know that LH surge occurs just prior to the ovulation. Therefore, by daily estimation of plasma LH in the periovulatory period will accurately detect the day of the ovulation. Normal serum LH is 5 to 20 milli international unit per ml and ovulation usually occurs about 9 hours after the LH surge therefore we can detect the day of the ovulation by using the hormone estimation so this is all for today and i will be sharing the notes of the today's class soon thank you for your patient listening stay safe and healthy